Now, if we know that the number one recommendation for spine pain is the concept of rest, we need to help identify what rest truly means when it helps to healing your back. In this episode, I'm going to tackle that concept of rest and how to utilize it to your advantage in healing your spine problems. Hey friends, it's Michael with Total Physical Therapy and we know the number one recommendation when it comes to healing back problems is this concept of rest. It is the number one recommendation either non-surgically or post-surgically for healing back problems. So if it's the number one recommendation, we need to first ask ourselves, what is rest? Bed rest? reducing your work volume or load at work or even furthermore taking time off of work, avoiding uh, your common daily activities, sitting around the majority of the day? If these are the questions that have entered your mind or the interpretations that you've gathered from your support staff, then I'm here to tell you that you're missing the most critical element as pertains to this concept of rest. The rest that we should seek and the rest that is most adequate for healing our back pain is indeed the rest that starts when you put your head on your pillow at night and close those eyes to the point where you open your eyes and get out of bed in the morning. That's right, the most critical element of rest is indeed establishing regular and routine rest intervals during your healing cycles. Now, this time is going to vary from one adult to the next, but it's not going to vary as much as one would think. On average, a typical adult is going to need anywhere between six to eight hours of regular routine sleep. Why is this so critical? Well, it's so critical because it helps to establish and regulate our circadian rhythms. And with our circadian rhythms come the opportunity for our hormone levels responsible for our sleep and wake cycles to help establish and maintain some consistency. This is a critical element to our healing. So some of the methods that you can seek to establish regular routine sleep is number one, quite simply, go to bed at normal regular intervals. You should seek to be in bed within 20 to 30 minutes of the same time each and every night. This is going to help establish again those normal circadian rhythms and help your body get into this routine of falling asleep at specified times as well as waking at consistent intervals and furthermore feeling rested. These are critical elements when it comes to this concept of rest. But unfortunately, most of us hear and or interpret this notion of rest incorrectly. What do we do? Well, we typically hear it as get off your feet, take a load off, remove yourself from the elements of your daily living, take yourself away from work. Just relax, take it easy. I mean, tight with sauce. Now, while there are some instances where some of these extreme measures need to be taken, we strongly encourage individuals not to spend more than one to two days in a bedridden status. Putting yourself in bed or sitting around the majority of the days is one of the most counterproductive things that you could do to help heal your back pain. Students at a bed! Students in the corridor! They are supposed to be out of bed, you blithering idiot! Sorry, Mom. Also, taking off from work might be a necessity based on the intensity of your work demands, but taking away from work should be limited to just a few days. And if that is the case, we strongly encourage individual, individuals to use that as an opportunity to walk. You should walk consistently daily when you're trying to get over a lower back condition. We've had other videos where we discuss this notion of walking and how you can kind of spice up and, and get the most bang for your buck. When In addition to a regimented walking program, we encourage individuals to uh, maintain some consistency with spine range of motion exercises. You should find directions that your spine is capable of moving in comfortable positions and repeat those movements. Uh, furthermore, if there is a direction of movement that is aggravating, 
try to find positions that decrease that sensitivity. An example of this, uh, oftentimes individuals with an acute or a chronic case of spine pain have trouble twisting in the spine. A modification to this would be laying on your side and trying to rotate your trunk from this position. Or if bending forward uh, increases your pain, you can lie on your back and pull your knees repeatedly towards your chest. These are simple modifications to range of motion exercises that help to reduce the sensitivity to your normal natural movements on a daily basis. But we do realize that sometimes you just can't find those comfortable positions, uh, those comfortable techniques, or you're just not educated enough to know how to uh, guide yourself in a productive manner. That's when you should seek the care of a trained individual to help you with, with those uh, concepts. On the whole, we encourage individuals to remain active and mobile uh, even if you have had to remove yourself from your work environment or if you're uh, not at work and you're just at home. Rather than removing your daily activities, just try some modifications but remain active and mobile. So, in summary, rest is a critical element of healing one's spine, but the uh, inaccurate interpretation of this notion of rest would be to uh, increase being sedentary or bedridden, chair bound throughout the day and remove yourself from your environment. Uh, in severe cases, we encourage this at most one to two days at most. But what is highly recommended for rest establish a regular bedtime within 20 to 30 minutes of uh, the same time every day and get yourself into that regular routine six to eight hours of sleep per night. Hope you guys find this information useful regarding this concept of rest. Use it to your advantage the next time you have an acute bout of back pain and see the difference, the difference that it provides for you, how quickly you rebound from those episodes when you remain active and mobile and just make slight modifications while maintaining regular routine sleep.